Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a double whammy video. At first I kind of wanted to do like a Supreme pickup video, but then I realized I'd be talking about a cut and sew piece, so I decided to kind of like bundle in a Supreme regular t-shirt versus a Supreme cut and sew shirt comparison into the, the same video. So without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, let's talk about the pickups. Uh, it was Supreme Week 6. So it was the, the week of the North Face drop, and because of that, I was able to get everything I wanted. I wasn't really interested in any of the North Face stuff. This season, I think, I wasn't really interested in a whole lot of stuff. I only had one pickup before this, and it was like the, the waste bag. But anyway, um, I guess more money in my pocket. So I got the Classic Logo 6 panel in the black and white colorway, and the Lavender and Multicolor colorway. And obviously the Collegiate Logo cut and sew piece in black. Let's talk about the hats first. Uh, the six panel classic logo is just classic Supreme six panel cap. Really nothing special going on here. The logo is embroidered on the front. The multicolored one has this cool multicolored embroidery on the front. The black and white one just has white embroidery. Um, it says Supreme New York on there. On the back, you got that kind of like metallic buckle with the Supreme laser engraving on there. And then you have the leather strap. On the black one, it's pretty much the same except it's a black strap and a, a silver buckle. Uh, interesting thing, I guess, the older Supreme six panels didn't have the Supreme logo engraved on the buckle. As you can see here, on this old S cap, there is just no, the buckle is just plain. The new ones do have it, and I think it's a nice little touch. Uh, one thing to note on these caps, there's nothing on the back, no embroidery on the back like the older S caps do. So, yeah, that's, um, it'd be kind of cool to, to have something back there, but I think it's, it's totally fine. Uh, overall really clean hat. I love how the Supreme six panels fit. I got the black and white one as kind of like more of a versatile piece. I can fit into any sort of outfit. And I got this lavender one as kind of like this cool pop of color. I think it's a really nice shade and complements a lot of other colors well. Moving on to the shirt. This is the Collegiate Logo Cut and Sew Tee. Um, size X large. Fits really well. It's like the cotton it's really slubby. It's actually really thick, and I, I, I almost want to say it's almost too thick for summer wear. Even though it's a t-shirt, the cotton's that thick. I don't really think I've had a thicker t-shirt before. Super high quality, super beefy. The letters are embroidered on. They're kind of cut out of this shinier fabric. If you catch the light on it properly, it kind of has a sheen to it. So that's that's nice. It has like a really smooth hand feel to it. But yeah. Um, quality shirt. It's a little expensive, $78. Actually, that's really expensive for a t-shirt, $78, geez. Um, so that kind of segues us into the next part, um, the Supreme regular t-shirt versus the Supreme cut and sew t-shirt comparison. So while this is a Supreme cut and sew shirt, I think it wouldn't be a fair comparison because this is a heavier weight and it has like a lot of stuff going on like this um, embroidery. So I thought I pull out another cut and sew shirt I have, the mini logo, and compare it to a plain Supreme shirt I have. So this is a Supreme Motion logo. So these are pretty much from the same season. I think they're actually from the same drop off. So they pretty much came out around the same time. Um, this shirt is $34, and I think this shirt was $68. So that's a pretty big price difference. So let's find out what the big difference is. Starting off with the fabric. The, the fabric on this is 100% pre-shrunk cotton. It's pretty beefy for a regular t-shirt, um, probably on the heavier side. Really good quality, holds its shape well after a couple of washes. Probably some of the best t-shirts I have are my Supreme shirts. The cut and sew shirt, it's also made out of a very beefy 100% cotton. It is I would say pretty much the same fabric weight as the regular Supreme shirt. I'd say in terms of the material, they're tied. So let's talk about the construction and quality now. A good way to gauge quality on a t-shirt is to check the ribbing 
on the collar here. As you can see, I've had this shirt for pretty much around a year now, and the collar is pretty pristine. There's no wrinkles or anything like that, and it hasn't started to loosen out. For comparison, this is like a cheaper shirt that I have from Target, and as you can see, the collar has started to kind of like get really wavy and wrinkly. So that's kind of like a telltale sign of a lower quality shirt. And as you can see, this shirt is not doing it. On the back, it has this kind of like panel of fabric that runs from shoulder to shoulder and it pretty much goes the entire length of the back of the shirt and it reinforces the shirt so it kind of keeps its shape better and doesn't shrink or doesn't deform over time. And I think most shirts these days have that but for some reason uh, the one on the Supreme shirt I think does a good job because these shirts like really keep their shape really well. Um, in terms of stitching, super high quality, no loose threads anywhere, I never get loose threads on these shirts. Overall, very solid quality shirt. Also, these are made in USA. Moving on to the Supreme Cut and Sew piece, um, in terms of construction and quality, ribbed collar, this also is a year old, and as you can see, it's in great shape. Stitching, really good, and no loose threads or anything like that on this. And um, one thing to point out though is the this does have that reinforced panel on the back. However, as you can see it ends right there. So the reinforcement only goes from here to here, just across the back of your neck. And the reinforcement does not go down to your shoulders on either side. So that's actually one thing the regular Supreme shirt does better than the cut and sew shirt. In terms of stitching, the cut and sew shirt is pretty identical to the regular Supreme shirt. So in terms of fit and quality, just because of the fact that the reinforcement doesn't go all the way across, I would say the regular Supreme shirt wins. So now most importantly, let's talk about the fit. If I match up the two shirts, you can see that the shoulder line for the regular Supreme shirt, which ends right here, is a little longer than the shoulder line for the cut and sew shirt, which ends right there. Um, and you can see that the sleeve is actually a little longer too. So the regular Supreme shirt, these are both the same size XLs. You can see that the regular Supreme shirt has a bigger shoulder and longer sleeve. However, if you look at the bottom of the shirt, you can see that the cut and sew piece is showing through behind the regular shirt. So you can see that the cut and sew piece is a little longer. So what you're seeing is that the cut and sew piece is a slimmer and longer shirt, and this is kind of like a shorter and boxier shirt. Is there a huge difference? No, but if you wear it, you can kind of tell the difference. There's, this is better for like a more form-fitting fit. Um, the shirt I'm wearing right now is definitely a little more form-fitting than the regular Supreme shirt. So yeah, that being said, is the cut and sew shirt worth that much more than the regular Supreme shirt? My answer is a no. Obviously, you kind of get some nicer features and nicer designs, but I don't really think it's worth that much more money. So what you're paying for is the logistics for Supreme to manufacture these shirts, not the actual workmanship or quality. The regular Supreme shirts, they just buy a bunch of blanks and silk screen print, a whole bunch of stuff on there, cheap for them to do. The cut and sew shirts are for designs that they they just can't silk screen print, such as embroidered things, little stitch on things, pockets, so on and so forth, paneling. So that costs supreme money to design and make, and that's what you're paying for, essentially. So I hope that was informative. So next time you see the price on that supreme cut and sew piece, maybe you'll have a little bit of a better understanding as to why it's so much more expensive and maybe you can make a better informed decision on if you're going to purchase it or not. Once again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.